You know, I was gonna say this like many years ago, a long time ago. But anyways, what, what's crazy is that, uh, you know how you have visions and dreams and stuff? Well, I have lots of visions and dreams. If they would have never traded me as a baby in the hospital, right now I'd be working at White Sands Mr. Range. And all my visions and dreams that I would see, I would have been like, see, this is my wife and this is my, this is me and this is my, my dog and this is my son. And my dog is a golden lab uh, retriever, by the way. And um, I lived in this nice, like it was a yellowish house like this, like my shirt right here. Nice house, and I had like 1940s, 1950s, 1960 vehicles, and um, they're using Cody or or a couple of people, Cody and Adrian, to act like they're me, like if if they're the sons of my dad, but my dad's that's not my dad's sons. They're using them to act like me, and what they're doing is all the visions that I have, like the Asians, the Russians, the Chinese. All those visions that I had of my families in other countries as well as like France and England, Ireland and all those areas and stuff. All those families that I had in my visions and dreams. If they can see through my head and see my visions and dreams, then calculate it. You know, one plus one equals two. So what does it, what does two mean? Well, the square root of two means that maybe these sets of individuals are inviting the people that were in my dreams and my visions over to new mexico and or or if they're not inviting them to new mexico they're heading over there to their house and they're acting like they're related to them when they're not even related at all well the conclusion comes down that all those dreams and visions that i had in my head are actually my relatives and family members whether they're asians whether they're russians whether they're americans whether they're any type of walks of race whether they're from israel or from africa or Af afghanistan or wherever they may be you know, um those are visions of my families of my family that i had when i passed away so these guys are either heading over there and killing my family or they're having those family members and relatives head over here and they're slicing their throats and killing them and trading them, trading their names off to Mexico for money. So they're saying, well, I got your, I got their insurance, I got their uh, ID card and I got their social security card. I'll sell it to you for $10,000 or $5,000 or $20,000. However much money they're trying to sell their, their information for whatever they're worth. Like say if I have, what say if I just moved from from um, like Kamar, like I had a dream about Kamar. Kamar is a, a like an is like an Israel guy, like a Afghan guy, kind of like Air Arabic guy, right? And I, I remember living at a house over there, and the house that I lived in, I had a it was the house. I had the farm, and and I had the farm, and then I had the I had a the street on the left side was there was a street on the left side with all the buildings and stuff like that and then on the right side there's um there's all the farming area and then on the bridge i was walking with this girl in a purple dress and um me and her used to walk at the bridge over there because she really liked me a lot she was my friend from one of the stores that i used to get my hair cut at and um that's that bridge right there is where i jumped off i told her i'll be back again i said save the money because i had a treasure chest full of uh, gold coins gold little coins they're like this small gold gold coins little coins a big old treasure chest the chest was this high and about this wide and it was a gold treasure chest and i told her save that money i told them the whole family i was i'll save that money at I told her I'll be back again because I believed in God. I believed in Jesus, which we called Allah at the time. And I fucking jumped off the bridge. I jumped off the bridge and I, I, I died. I splat on the floor. I died. Came back to life somewhere else. Well, anyways, with that being said, they invited him over here, right? They're like, here, come over here. Because this guy says he knows you, supposedly. And make and, and they're taking my dreams and shit like that but i actually do know the guy these guys don't know who this guy is i know who he is if i go to that country i could be like this is where i jumped off this is where the house is 
This is where all the buildings are at. You go all the way down here, you make a right. We owned all the electrical work and stuff like that and shit like that because I bought the electric electricity for the the whole the whole country. They wanted electricity, we didn't have none, so I purchased it for them. And um let me tell you something. When when this shit happened and stuff, like all my family that they see my visions and dreams, these guys been inviting them over here and they just been killing them. They've been slicing their throats and murdering them and shit. If you guys don't believe me, it's the truth, you know what I mean? Right now, I wouldn't be sleeping in the streets. Right now, I'd be a rich, fucking wealthy person. Right now, this whole parking lot right here would be filled up 10, 20 stories high full of cash. All the way to the tip top. I'd be the richest person in the whole world right now if I wanted to be. It's these guys that stop me. It's these guys that kill my family. It's these guys that are not letting me succeed in my visions and my dreams. It's these guys that are killing me and not letting me succeed in my visions and my dreams. And what's going on is that they're they're doing a lot of fucking stupid stuff and shit like that. Which means that they're just they're just trying to fuck me over. What, what it comes down to. All, all at the end, what it comes down to is I've been set up. I've been set up since I was a baby. I've been set up for every little fucking thing. And I could be, I could bet you fucking a trillion dollars on that shit. And the way I explain it, if I explained it to my lawyer in person or I explained it to one of my uh, representatives or my superiors in person, if I explained it to them, like they've been watching me in the all-seeing eye. So they know exactly what I'm talking about. But if I was explaining it to them and telling them exactly what I know, these guys would be right now begging on their knees, telling me sorry and I apologize and stuff like that. If they tested my blood right now, they would definitely be begging at their knees right now and at their mercy because this shit ain't no joke, you know what I mean? They stole my insurance money, you know? I was worth the fucking... I'm worth a lot of fucking money. They stole my insurance money. They stole the... Um, they, they stole the uh, the vaccine money. So I have a lot of vaccines in my arm. Like I could fucking vaccinate a lot of people. I got cures for a lot of freaking diseases and a lot of things. And that's the truth. And um, I could bet you a fucking million dollars on that. And if I were to go get tested from another country. Because I know this person here that's in New Mexico are trying to say, no, no, it's not true, but bitch, your bald head and your ugly ass face with the mask on and hat on, you ugly ass girl. These girls are over here at, at Planet Fitness and shit, you know what I mean? Ugly ass fucking people that, they're all lesbians, they all want to kill me and shit. They don't, they don't give a fuck about anything else except for doing lesbian shit, you know what I mean? There's even old ladies over here that have been raped, never been a lesbian. Old ladies that have been a fuck... Old ladies that never been a lesbian. These girls tied up old ladies and shit, turned them inside out and, and turned them into lesbians. And then when these girls turned in, when these old ladies turned into lesbians, you know what these old ladies said? Damn, I never knew that I would like a woman. So they got into liking women and not only liking women, but also doing drugs. So they got into the meth and the heroin and the crack cocaine. I mean, weed, I don't care about weed because cannabis, I fucking love cannabis. Cannabis helps me think, you know what I mean? It helps me relax and shit. But, um, anyways, that's the truth. Just wait till you see my video of you fucking talking shit, dude. Fucking molester. And so, yeah. Um, I, I, I need to freaking figure out who I am. And that's not my daughter. She's from Mexico, that one is. Oh yeah, and not to mention Athena is not is not my real daughter, right? So Athena, Serfina, and Zylina are not my real my real children. You know what these assholes did? They went and took my fucking real children to Mexico, traded them, and I know it was Daisy and them, and fucking probably Donna and fucking Gogi that fucking did it. But anyways, they took my fucking children, traded them in 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 Mexico. And then they brought, like, Daisy's daughter and gave Daisy's daughter, Daisy's, Daisy's daughter's daughter to Arima. And I don't know who the other two kids are. Probably Noah's daughter to Arima and, and you know, a bunch of shit. So it's, it's and Zylina, I don't know where Zylina comes from. Um, Zylina comes from some other person. So I don't I really don't know which which women are which and I don't know if 
if they're trying to set me up like this, like they're trying to say, oh, well, Josh is the one that raped all these girls and shit. And he's, he's the one that did all this stuff. Check his kid's blood. And I guarantee you that it's going to come back to this girl. So, boom, they're going to check the kid's blood and say, oh, wait, this ain't Josh's kid. And then they're going to say, maybe he fucking kidnapped this kid and fucking he did rape a woman and kidnap a kid and fucking probably killed the woman. Do you, uh, do, do you kind of get what I'm saying? Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, if I mean, if that makes any sense, if that makes any common sense, right? So, um, I'm just saying that. I never, I don't know any of those women that they're saying whatever. I never met any of them. And I guarantee 100% and stuff like that. I, ne I don't know who any of these girls are. Don't know any of them. I don't know any of the girls inside the gym that are hiding in there with masks on and shit. I don't know any of these people. Never met them in my life. Don't know them. I don't care about them. They never cared about me. So why should I care about them? I got to man up. You know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of fucking... A lot of love that I had for a lot of people in my life. But I got to fucking man up. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to man up. And I'm going to have to fucking figure out who my real family is. You know what I mean? And I'm going to have to say, you know what? You, you guys fucked me over since the beginning, since the day. And you know why they have fucking Anna um, trapped and shit like that? Because I remember back in the day I had told Cody about me being shot when I was a little baby. And when I was a little baby in the car seat in California, they shot me with a shotgun. And I don't know, the BB hit me in my heart. I have a, they said I have a heart murmur, but it's not a heart murmur. It's just where the BB went in and the BB's lodged in my heart. That one's still lodged in my heart. A any given moment, that BB could, could come out of there and it could hit the artery and I could fucking die without even, no, like I could die right on the drop of a dime. I could just die right now. And then I could probably get punched fucking in the heart and I could just fucking die. And I got a BB right here in my head lodged in my head. And then um, I got a couple BBs lodged in my stomach <coughs> from when I was shot. And you know how much money that's, that's worth? I mean, I'm 30 years old. The lawsuit is over 30 years gone. And I need those. I, and if I got that lawsuit from me being shot, from that time it was either in california or here in las cruces because they did throw cartels you know what cartels are cartel bombs are those beer bottles with gas and and flints at the end and it burned my leg i still have burn legs on my leg if you look closely you can see the burn legs on my leg i still got burn legs on my leg and on my right hand and i still got uh i still got burn i still got burn marks you know probably on my arm right here on the side too somewhere but um, Omar is tying up. Omar is tying tying up Anna because what he really, what Omar really wants is he wants to get rid of Richie, me, Noah, and Matthew. He wants to like literally get rid of us. He wants to kill us, basically is what it comes down to. And then after he kills us, then he's gonna fucking tell Anna. Right now you hit those people with the lawsuit. Then she's gonna go and hit those people with the lawsuit for for the 22 million of me getting shot by the shotgun while they're in California or in in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. And then after after they try to get the lawsuit from that money, guess what Omar does? He he kills Anna anyways, takes her all her money like he's been doing for the past fucking five years, takes punks her for all her money and shit. And then uh he fucking moves to a different country he lives in like france somewhere or, or some country like that he takes 